So if you don't trust batteries, then this is going to be a really good option for you. This is from ShotLog. This is their shotgun wall mount. This is a, a all analog type of situation here. So think like a simplex lock. But this does have a pretty cool way of reprogramming it. And I'll go through that whole process here in a little bit. So here's good old Amazon. And they do have one for a pistol as well. This is going to be the one we have right here for your shotgun. And this one's going to be 184 bucks. They have an electronic version. But uh, yeah. Uh, I, I like the analog types for me. This is this is something that you can trust your life on. So let's go ahead and sh go do a fake unboxing. But I'll show you what they come with. Now they do have a two-year warranty, uh, so they do have that. Now this cool part about this is they've got these. This is going to be a setup for a shotgun without a handle. So as a handleless shotgun, you'll be using this. But the shotgun I have has a handle on it, or an assault handle. Um, now here's the keys it uh, comes with. We'll talk about that a little later. This has got to be your mounting screws there. So let's open this up. Now, from the factory, the code's going to be uh, 1278, but I've already changed it. So here's a new code. Uh, so right here, comes with these foam pads. Now with these foam pads, once you... You can see all these holes here. These are for all the ways of mounting different shotguns or where you ever need to put these things. This, like I said, these would be for your, uh, your handleless types of shotguns. Uh, but you also will modify this foam bit here to fit inside of here. Uh, so this is the kind of setup I would need for my particular shotgun. It would be this little piece here. And then you would just cut this to fit over that. So uh, as you can see, it has min many, many mounting locations. Uh, the actual mechanism is, you know, I'd say closer, kind of resembles like the uh, simplex. A little bit more difficult to uh, reprogram, but it's not bad. Don't worry about that. It's actually kind of cool if you, if you actually look into it. Uh, finish is nice. Got a nice heft to it. It's a pretty solid little unit here. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to mount this up and then get my shotgun in there and show you how it all functions. Let's go do a demonstration. The reason why I like this vertical lock uh, and it's like a Christmas tree. Think it, uh, yeah, we're going to make a Christmas tree out of the shotgun here in a second. Now, though, I already have this piece of rubber for the shotgun to be mounted down. You could do it the other way, mount it up if you wanted. Just make sure your porthole is open. This is an aerosol variety shotgun. Also, with the aerosol gun, make sure this little, if it's unloaded like this, make sure this is down or it won't go on. Uh, so, now, this is, now, if you had your foam bit cut out, I have a piece of foam back there, but we don't care. This is shotguns made in China. So let's go ahead and just put it in there. Go over here. There you go. You're locked down. No one's getting to it. Now, the good thing is you can hide these like a nice little Christmas tree. Just like that. You can put in a jacket. You know what? You probably don't want to put a jacket like that. What you're going to want is this instead. You're going to want a nice walmart jacket there just put that on there like that something long enough to cover it throw a little cough bag on there a little let's just say minute clinic bag just throw it out you're it's like a, it's like a christmas tree for dudes and last but not least hiding in plain sight you're gonna want to put your accoutrements on there and there you go you got a nice shotgun christmas tree you're hiding this thing right in the middle of your room, just uh, just one like hit like this. Boom, your shotgun's there. Hit that code in there. Boom, you're open. And there you go. It's party time. So what we're gonna do now is go over how to reprogram this. It's actually a pretty cool process. So let's get to doing that. All right, let's reprogram the shot lock. All you gotta need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get right to it. Now the stock code is gonna be one two seven eight. There you go. Now there's gonna be two screws on the each side. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with this one right here. Make sure that's out of the way. Here we go. These will be the only two screws that you'll be removing. All right, now we're gonna do this cover is you're gonna kind of like just palm it palm it against the slide straight up so just palm it up and it'll come straight out so all right here's the lock mechanism just pull this out very easily just comes right out all right so let's get to the reprogramming part all right so let's get this new code in there now you'll see here 
A is going to be number 1, then B, then C, then D. So we're going to go 1, uh, well, 4, 1, 2, 7. So what you're going to do is press down on these two buttons right here, then start pulling them out. All right, so we're going to need to pull this one. We're not going to go with the 8, so place the ones with the zeros or just the black ones. I'm going to put that into the 8. All right, we're starting with A. Our number one, the number is going to be A. So we're starting with A. We're going to put that in number 4 slot. Just do a slide up and down like that when you got it right. All right, so number one, it's got to be B. Put that in number one slot. B is going in. All right, number two slot is going to be C. Here we go. Got the C in there. And last is going to be seven. We're going to put the D. There you go. Now release the button. So let's move to the next step. All right, now get that little box and just slide it right back in. Go. Let's get the cover back on. You'll just slide that right on down. Get this situated here. Alright, so let's get this first screw in. Make sure now there's gonna be these little grooves down there. Make sure that fits underneath those little screws there and completely flush it's now we're flush as with the screw holes there so right there you gotta make sure it slides underneath those little pieces of metal all right let's put the screws back in i'm not gonna go all the way just yet all right we should get to go so let's test it out we're in the lock position so let's put the code in Four, one, two, seven. There we go. Let's make it official here again. So four, one, two, seven. There you go. It's quite easy to uh, reprogram. Pretty cool lock. All right. So the shot lock gets a huge recommendation from us because I just like its hideability factor, as I showed you with that jacket and that uh, and that red bag and also. The other thing i think you have a setup like that you're you know that's probably the best thing you can do is hide things in plain sight that's a huge factor for me and that's why i really like this not just that it's got the perfect mechanism this is like a simplex lock it's uh it's pretty cool to reprogram it's kind of fun to mess with that and you know it's got to last for eons i'm not going to worry about this uh, batteries going bad or some lock breaking uh some kind of actuator breaking inside this thing's just going to work for a long time to come now there is a known issue with the shot lock if you head over to the uh handgun safe research uh this is a very easily pickable uh key here uh, he, so he pretty much just jammed some uh, jb weld in there and there's also maybe an area on some of these where the sheet metal's opened up that you might be able to stick a wire in, but I just head over there to watch that. I'm not very concerned with people with lock picking skills. Gotta break into your house, gotta identify this is a you know a shot lock, and then know oh, I got the skills to do this. It's probably gonna be pretty much non-existent. That's never gonna happen anyways. It's pretty much just brute force, people tearing things off of walls or whatnot, crowbars. I'm not too worried about a bunch of lock picking lawyers coming up into your place to uh, to pick your locks. But finding things, if you can keep them from finding your safes, that's a huge, huge uh, defense right there. And that's why I like the shot lock. And it gets a huge recommendation from us. And until next time, we'll see you then.